Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Andrew, this is The Gib Show and today we've got tactics test on the channel. Hope you're going to enjoy it. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Now, if you've watched the hexagonal on this channel, you've seen we've been using a, a variation. There was a, a 442, it's changed to a 424. Been really successful. Not going to spoil in case you want to catch up, but go watch that series. There will be there. I can never do this. Up there, in the corner, somewhere, whatever. <laughs> Click on that. Go watch the hexagonal. Now, with the Portis Valdivia, it'd been really successful, scored a lot of goals. Diego Acosta, what a hero. But it'd been quite leaky as well. I wanted to go away, do some tests, do some tweaking, see if we could get something a bit a bit special out of this tactic. So I want to shout out to GYRFM on Twitter for his help. We were kind of going back and forward, doing some little tweaks, talking about it. And we've both got a slightly different version, but we've both uh, we've settled on on this sort of offset asymmetric four four two. Uh, it was called the homemade chili because we're playing chili. Then it was homemade chili with rice, and then we've added versions on. So this is homemade chili with rice version three. It is a four four two with full backs. We've got a inside forward on the right, winger on attack on the left an advance forward and a deep line forward on support. Now, there will be a download link below to download this, give it a try, see what you think. Like, have a play around, do some tweaks, let me know what you're doing in the comments below because I want to make this as good as possible. So uh, if you can't download it, we will click through and we'll go through all the positions so you can see how to set it up. We have an advance forward on attack with Mark Tater, really pressuring those defenders. Uh, deep line forward on support with uh, Rome from position. Now, if you don't know how to get into there, you click on the edit button, brings up the option, and you can click on all of them. We have got the inside forward, no instructions on him. Then the winger, no instructions. An advanced playmaker on attack with uh, more direct passes. You're looking for him just to hit those balls. Don't, don't dilly about. Hit those balls. Look for those forwards. Get it to the people who are going to make a difference. We've then got a ball winning midfielder with whole position. We want him to sit in there. Protect the fullback. Take that space, especially with inside forward as well. He'll do that there. On the left, fullback on support. Then a central defender on defend. Centre defender on cover, again, just a little bit of protection for the fullback and the inside forward there. And then a fullback on attack. It is an attacking mentality. We've tried it on positive as well, you still get a lot of goals, so if you're a bit scared of the attacking, put it on positive. We are standard width, we are playing out of defence, slightly shorter passing, extremely high tempo, I love the extremely high tempo, we're just going at teams, full pelt, uh, and just be more expressive. I got the low crosses on as well. In transition, we are counter pressing and countering, of course, and we are taking short kicks to the full backs and the centre backs. Out of possession, we've got a much higher line of engagement and a much higher defensive line. We are tighter marking and with extremely urgent pressing. Uh, something that GYRFM suggested was to take the tighter marking off. Put the defensive width for standard and see how that gets on. So maybe we'll do that down the line, see how it goes. We're going to use it in, in Chile with our, our hexagonal save first and see how we get on. So that is the tactic. Set pieces wise, we are attacking the near post. You can see them there on the left and on the right. And it's important to have these guys back here, the four back, just to protection from the, the counter attacks. Bruins, I've set up two new. Short throw-ins, because you cannot trust the FM throw-ins. It's mostly just to eliminate the risk rather than to create anything, so feel free to steal them if you want. Defending-wise, not done anything with defending throw-ins. Defending corners, we have got the three men on the six-yard box, people on the near post, and three-man markers. That's on both sides. That'll be in the tactic as well. So there we have it, this is the 442, the homemade chili with rice, 
Just give you an idea, this is with Barcelona. This would be their best 11. Guzzo, Messi, Dembele, Coutinho, De Jong, Busquets in there, Alba and Roberto. So we are testing it with Liverpool and West Ham in England. We've got Paris Saint-Germain and Saint-Étienne in France. Dortmund and Augsburg in Germany. Inter Milan, Barcelona and Real Betis. One run, everyone together. We'll see how it goes. We'll show you the numbers back in a second. Here we go. It's the 24th of May 2021 and we'll kick it off with Liverpool in the Premier League. And as you can see, champions, 94 points, four points over Man United. Let's have a look at the competition stats. There we go, 93 plus goal difference. Uh, 131 goals scored, that's amazing. 38 conceded, so it won a game, absolutely fine. 50 more goals than Manchester United. An XG of 109.09, that's phenomenal. Let's look at the squad. Mohamed Salah, 39 goals and 20 assists. Sadio Mane, 35. And Diego Jota with 30 goals. Three players combining for, quick maths, 104 goals. Assist-wise, Salah got 20. Even Jelen Shaqiri got 18 assists. We got a tune out of Shaqiri. If that's not a reason to hit the like button, I don't know what is. Uh, Manny, 18. Trent got 14. Milner, 13. Thiago, 10. Firmino, 10. Uh, team stats, 193 goals. Happy with that. Competitions-wise... Oh, knocked out the semi-finals of Man City. Okay. So you may be noticing West Ham is not highlighted. It turns out tactic tests are not for everyone, uh, viewers. West Ham sacked us. Let's move swiftly on. Paris Saint-Germain, champions of France, 106 points, an unbeaten season. Kylian Mbappe, top scorer, Neymar second, Moise Keane third, Average rating, 7.85 for Neymar. That's ridiculous. Look at Riyad Boudibou's up there with 17 assists. And Etienne, who came fourth. Not the greatest team. Managed to get him to fourth. That's amazing. Uh, PSG-wise, scored 143 league goals. Only conceded 24. Goals-wise, Kylian Mbappe, put your hands up. 52 goals in 48 games and 16 assists. Neymar got 36. I think he was playing as the deep line forward quite a bit. But mostly on the left, and yeah, 17 goals, 19 games. And this is where, when you take control, and I love saying this, pick where the players play. I'd play Neymar in that deep line forward role. I think you get that partnership with Mbappe rather than, like, Ricardi, 32 and 20 is great. Sack him off, get Neymar up there, get someone else on the left. And what's really good about this tactic Especially if, if you sort of quick pick, even with if Neymar starting there in the wide, the winger on the left, there's an overload here with these three all overloading down the right, and then there's so much space for the winger to pop in. That's why he does really, really well. Team report 220 goals for Paris Saint Germain. Best test I've ever done in goal score. That's why. It's born to do PSG because they're so good, but they are the benchmark. They they can play any formation, and you can see just how good this formation can be. Competitions in there. Oh, knocked out quarterfinals with Liverpool. Okay. But it's tactic against tactic, so well, at the end we'll look and see how the Champions League went because we've got a few other teams that could be in it. 220 goals scored. Mbappe and the... 52, incredible. There we go, as you can see, Dortmund second in the Bundesliga. Three points behind Bayern. They lost one game more, they drew the same. Erling Haaland's a top scorer on 35 league goals, 7.82 average. Rafael Guerrero really benefiting down the left, I imagine, with those assists. Uh, yeah, that's 97. So way above everyone else if you look at the competition stats. 81 XG, 97 goals, 18 more than Bayern. Team-wise, 54 goals. But what's interesting, only 39 games played by Erlen Haaland. They would go dislocated shoulders, so he missed five weeks. And he still got 54 goals. <laughs> Pretty good. 17 and 12 for Royce, 9 and 10 for Sancho. I've seen better from Sancho, but 
Uh, Rafael Guerrero, 20 assists. Where did he play most? From left back. That's incredible. Really, really good. Uh, competitions. Knocked out by Paris Saint-Germain. So it's tactic against tactic. Won the Super Cup. All round excellent from the Bundesliga. You'll see Augsburg also sacked us. I think that was in January. Like I mean, they're in, they're in the relegation playoff, so no, they did that much better without us. Yep, sacked us in January. Dead to me. Then we go to Spain, and no surprise, Barcelona champions at six points ahead of Real Madrid and Sufati, twenty-seven goals. That's really impressive. Messi on twenty-six. They built Fakir on 25, and that's why you can see Real Betis are on third place, 71 points. Yeah, they're way behind Real Madrid, uh, but you just see there above my head, Sergio Canales with 17 assists. Amazing. Messi leads the ratings. Betis scored two more goals than Real Madrid. That's all you need to know. If you buy some good players, wow. Uh, Barca boss the XG, it's so goals per game, and the XG, of course. Better second in XG, phenomenal. Let's look at Barcelona's team. Wow, just like Liverpool, Messi, Fatty, Griezmann all scoring over 30 goals. That is 102 goals between three players. Frankie Dion with 15 assists, that's impressive. I imagine he was playing as the attacking playmaker on deep. Yeah, I'd assume so. Like, that's a phenomenal season from him. Really, really good. Competitions-wise, <gasps> they're in the Champions League final. Let's go to Betis. Look at the numbers. Nabil Fakir, 26 goals, 8 assists. Brilliant. 12 from Iglesias and Tello. 21 assists from Canales. That's really, really good. Uh, let's come back and let's watch the Champions League final. Here we go. Champions League final, and we're already 1-0 down after one minute. Great tactic. Great tactic. Uh, bit of a... Don't know what Ter Stegen's doing there. But anyway, we've got it on key highlights. We'll have a watch and see what happens. Go on, son. Oh, it's a lovely chip. That's why we started you. Bench boy. Beautiful. Great turn there. You've got you've got the four and attack there. I love that. Doesn't need dumb. Goes himself. Quick start, one one. This is nice to watch. Second half's underway and I'm getting right stuck into them. Trying to force them onto the weak foot. It's a tactics test, but I'm taking this seriously. Get into him. Go on, Messi, son. Messi on the left. Jolly Alba. I've got to wish that was someone better. Griezmann, no. Oh. Kind of wish PSG had made the final on this. Cause I, I, to watch Neymar on that left side would be really good. Can't defend anyway. Get the guy on with five positioning. That's going to help. Sterling. That's a penalty. Can I just cut this out? Oh, we're checking bar, we're checking bar. Penalty awarded. Kiki Boot. Sergio Aguero. Or Kevin De Bruyne, sorry, scores. 4 1. What I will say is a team that scored 220 goals didn't get to the final. So, you know, all in the day, blah, blah, blah. You're making me look bad. Rodrigo, De Bruyne, Wendy. <laughs> Please make sure to, to like and subscribe and don't watch this fifth goal go in. Just look away. Don't watch it. Really good tactic. Promise. Give it a try. Fucking hell. That was painful. For a water bottle, unacceptable. Cunts. So yeah, Barcelona, champions of Spain. 91 points. Messi, 26 goals. Like, yeah, it's, it's disappointing to lose the Champions League final, but they got there. Man City beat Liverpool, who have this tactic, so there's a, maybe a trend there that just City are just a better team. Uh, yes, you got knocked out 10-6 by Liverpool. Tactic is beating itself, like... Look at the goal scorers, Lukaku, Haaland and Bappe all using it. The link will be down below in the description. Download the tactic. Let me know what you think. This has been the homemade chili with rice. I'm Andrew. Please put on a like. If, if, if getting beaten the Champions League final 5-1 doesn't let you hit like and subscribe, what will? Thanks for watching uh, and come back again.